So what we're showing you here today is our new clean cut valve and a valve that needs to be cut. We're going to show you how to uh, grind the valve using our valve grinder. Alright, so the first step that we want to do here is to establish a nice smooth flat surface on the top of the valve stem. So what we're going to do is take our valve and we're going to put it in here, tighten it up a little bit, okay? So we're going to establish a smooth seat, and all we're going to do is grind it against this wheel and spin it around. That's all you need. And then we're going to look at the top of the valve and make sure that the grind hatch marks are across the whole top of the valve. So this thing looks pretty smooth. Alright? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to stick the valve in our little device here with a rubber boot to make sure that none of the grit gets in there. Okay? We're going to tighten it down. We're going to take our little oil squirter here and make sure that it's actually going to hit the valve. We're going to bring our machine in and just kind of set it up to where the valve will barely, will kind of, okay, so that when this comes up, we've got room to go back and forth. All right, so we're going to bring it in kind of close somewhat close. We're going to turn the machine on. So we're going to turn our cutting wheel on. Then we're going to turn our oil on and make sure you want to oil the valve there too. Okay. We're going to bring this in. And we're going to slowly but surely bring the cutting wheel in closer and closer until we establish a cut. And when we start here in the cut, you're going to move the machine back and forth. You don't want to take off too much material. So we're touching now, so we'll go back and forth, bring it in a little bit. Now this valve is a little wobbly, you can hear by the cut, so we're going to take off a little more material. We can back it out now. So you need 46 degrees for interference fit? Yeah, we're going to do 46 degrees on this. Because and then the seat would be 45, so you get 1 degree interference fit, correct? Yep. Exactly. So it wedges into the seat. So now what we want to do is we just want to clean the valve off and we want to check for any scratch marks, cuts, any pits in there. Especially if it's a used valve, you can grind off all the pits. And this one actually looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and do this to all the valves. Mention was after grinding the valve, you do want to make sure that, as you can see, I, I don't know, it's hard to tell, as you can see right there, there's a little margin the area to the right of where we grinded, where the valve has another angle. See that 30 degree angle, then a 45, then a 60 degree angle. There's three angles there. So this is a good cut. This is a clean cut. Looks nice. Okay. Now I want to show you one of a used valve that you had to cut so bad that there was no longer a margin left. We can focus in on it. As you can see, all we have is our 60 degree and our 45 degree, but we have no margin left on the valve. So this valve is toast. We cannot reuse this valve. All right, it's just one thing I wanted to show you that after regrinding your valves, you just want to make sure that you don't cut too much, and that you don't have, and that you do have a margin left on the other side because this is uh, this is necessary for the valve to work properly. And also make sure not to cut too much off the top here. You want to do maximum, maximum, maximum 20 thousandths of an inch. But you basically just want to leave it on this cutting wheel for just a second or two, spinning it around to make sure that it's nice and true. All right, it's been another video from DIY Auto Tech. We'll see you next time.